In the past 10 years, superhero movies have gotten bigger and better. From the early pioneers of the genre, like Sam Raimi's Spider-Man trilogy and Brian Singer's X-Men trilogy, now we have, you know, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, DC's ex Expanded Universe, as well as Fox's X-Men Fantastic Four thingy. So, you know, in fact, in the next six years, there's going to be around 40 new superhero movies coming out. So, if you're a huge nerd like me, although I prefer the term intellectual mega genius with ninja skills and peak physical condition, yeah, t-shirt ref. T-shirt reference. That guy is such an idiot. Anyways, so like I was saying, if you're a big nerd, you're gonna be excited for like all of these movies, all 40 of them. But you know, with these all these new films coming out, you might be wondering, you know, which ones are gonna be the coolest, which ones are should I watch, which ones should I do the most research on? And so today, I'm bringing you my list of the six most anticipated superhero movies coming out in the next six years. All right, hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. So uh, my first pick for number 6 is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. This movie is coming out in 2017. The second one will be directed by James Gunn, who also directed the first Guardians of the Galaxy, which was an amazing movie that defied all of the expectations previously set for it. And there's Groot. And did I mention Groot is just awesome. I'm Groot. He is Groot. Not to mention that the soundtrack was also really great. Hooked on a feeling, do 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 do. Okay, I'm really sorry. I'll, I'll stop singing. Hopefully, I didn't kill anyone with that. <laughs> and coming in at number five on this list is the Lego Batman movie coming out in 2017. Now, this might surprise some people because you know it is an animated movie and definitely not as serious as any of the other movies on this list. However, I'm really excited for this movie, even though there has already been a Lego Batman movie. I think it was called Lego Batman DC Superheroes Unite. But, the reason why I'm so excited for this movie is, first of all, the first LEGO movie that came out in 2014 was amazing, and also, our two most recent incarnations of Batman in film have been Christopher Nolan's The Dark Knight trilogy, as well as Batman vs Superman, and both of those Batman are super dark and gritty. And LEGO Batman, he's just the opposite, he is campy, pure fun. And that is, that's more like, you know, the original Batman series, as well as um, some of the earlier Batman movies. And personally, I think it'll be really interesting to see how this all plays out in 2017. Now the next movie on this list is another movie from 2017. Wow, all the first three movies on this list have all been from 2017, but this movie is Wonder Woman the one from the DC Expanded Universe. Now the reason I'm excited for this movie is because it has a chance at being the first well-made female superhero movie. Now obviously some people did like Elektra and Catwoman, but personally, I think those movies are terrible. So I'm interested in seeing if Wonder Woman can become the first well-made female superhero movie. And, and also she's really hot. Don't tell my mom I said that. Coming in at number 3 is Captain America Civil War, coming out next year. Now this movie pits Tony Stark against Steve Rogers in an all-out war because uh, if, it's, if they stay true to the comics, it's because Steve Rogers doesn't believe that superhuman people should have to, you know, register with the government. Meanwhile, Tony Stark thinks that they should be count held accountable. And this is, first of all, this is really exciting because of what happened, you know, in Avengers Age of Ultron. I don't want to spoil that too much here, but basically they caused a lot of destruction and blew up a bunch of things. So it'll be interesting to see how the world reacts with that. Second on this list is Avengers Infinity War. Now, this is the ending to the Avengers franchise. One of the biggest franchises on the planet and a franchise that has made all the money. Now, <laughs> This is going to be so epic, first of all we get to see Thanos get out of his chair and actually do something. And also, Thanos, he's probably going to be a pretty great villain, I mean with all the build up that they made for him, like he better be a good villain, and he's one of the few villains I can think of in the MCU right now that can actually pose a threat to all the Avengers that we've been introduced to already. I mean so far the Avengers franchise has had like the worst villains. The first movie, although it was pretty good, let's take a look at the main antagonist, other than Loki, is a bunch of aliens with around human level tech, 
in jet skis and like two big space whale things. Like, did you ever think for a moment that the Avengers were gonna lose that fight? Now let's take a look at Ultron. He too was nerfed down a lot from the comics. I mean, in the comics, he beat the Avengers. So hopefully Thanos will be one of the few MCU villains to actually be pretty good and stand out a bit. And hopefully he'll be more like Loki than that guy from Thor the Dark World. Wasn't it? Uh, Balrog? Sauron? Oh, I think his name was Curse something. I, I don't know. <clears throat> now the final movie on this list is... Drumroll. Oh dang it, it's already on the screen! <laughs> well, you probably could have guessed it, but it's Batman vs Superman, Dawn of Justice, coming out next year. Now this movie pits the two superheroes who, in my opinion, are the most popular superheroes ever in history against each other in a fight. And that is what makes me so excited for it. Another thing is that unlike a lot of movies in this list, its predecessor, Man of Steel, actually wasn't that great. And that gives it like an air of mystery around it, you know? You want to go see it to judge for yourself if it's good or not. Just because it's such an event movie that even if you see bad reviews, at least for me, I would still go see it, just so I can judge for myself. So that concludes this list. I hope you enjoyed the list, and you know, I, I hope you see all these movies too, just like me, because I'm a nerd. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm saying. Bye!